Hi friends, welcome once more to my kitchen. I am very, very excited to meet you today and to continue sharing with you on how to prepare some of my traditional dishes. I hope you did enjoy a few ayers and I guess you prepared one. So today we are going to continue with another dish that is called cookie. Before we go ahead, please just click the share button and the subscribe button if you have not yet done so. So as I said, we are going to continue today. I will show you how I prepare koki traditional dish. You can call it koki or koki beans because it's made with beans. Koki is also made with other things like corn that is called koki corn. So we have koki corn and koki beans. But I'm going to show you what I use to prepare koki beans and how I do it. So, these are the ingredients that I use to prepare my koki beans. I have the main ingredient here, which is the beans, the koki beans. Look at it, this is koki beans. Then I have ripe plantains that I will use as an accompaniment to accompany the koki when I'm done preparing. So we eat the koki with the ripe plantains, boiled ripe plantains. Then I have here red palm oil that I will use to prepare my koki. Then I have maggi and salt. Then in our village setting, I will use cocoa yam, tender cocoa yam leaves. But in the city where I am that I don't have tender cocoa yam leaves, I will replace that with spinach. It's a type of vegetable called spinach. I got it from the store. So I will replace my tender cocoa yam leaves with that spinach. So how will I do it? I'm going to wash this cookie beans. As you can see it, it is still full grains, but I've soaked it for some three hours. And so I will wash it easily, peeling the bags. So when I take to wash it, it will go easily as I will be squeezing it and peeling the bags. As you can see, it is quite soft and you can already peel the bag. Yes. When you squeeze it, the bag comes out. Squeeze it, the bag comes out. So I will wash it easily. That is how I wash the cookie beans. And then after that, I will grind it using a blender. Then I will put it in a mortar and I will use a pistol to stir it, to beat it, beat it. As I'm beating it, it is rising. And then I will be adding a bit of salt at a time until when it is okay. Then I will also add a bit of maggi, adding it bit by bit. Because when you add it too much at once, it will help the paste to go down instead of rising as you are beating. So I'll continue to beat, continue to beat. When it is okay, I'll beat for about five to seven minutes, depending on the quantity of my beans. When it is okay, when it is soft and smooth enough, I will take my banana leaves. In a village setting, I will use banana leaves to tie the cookie. But in a town setting where I don't have banana leaves, or in a city setting where I don't have banana leaves, I will replace that with foil paper. We shall come to that. And uh, that is the traditional way. The traditional way we do it. So, but with modern technology, some of us nowadays do not want to stress up ourselves in doing cooking in that long process that our forefathers used to do. It. What they do is after grinding, they just put it in a bowl like this, and then straight away they add maggi, they add salt, they add the spinach, then they add the red palm oil, then mix it together, then add water to to to, to, to soften it to make it soft, then add enough water. And then stir it very well and then use the leaves and tie it and they tie they put in the pot and then they cook it as such 
that is a shorter way of doing it where you will not get the fluffiness of the cookie because when you do it the traditional way by beating it in the mortar you see your piece of beating it and when it rises and then you do things the way they did it originally you get a fluffy loaf but when you do it the second method it is always thick so those are the two methods that we use in making cookie using these ingredients thank you very much i'll show you in the next video how i actually do it thank you for now don't forget to subscribe to this channel because we are going to learn how to prepare more african dishes <laughs>